Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to reinforce a few things we talked about in class, mainly how to uh, convert a full color image into a single color halftone. Um, what we've got in front of us is an eight and a half by eleven art board, so a letter size uh, with some full color artwork, uh, just a single layer. So the first thing we're going to do in an effort to convert this to one color that we can screen print, so we're going to go up and go to image mode grayscale and it'll ask us if uh, we want to flatten. Um, in this case we do. So now we have a single grayscale instead of a color. Uh, and then what we're going to do is go back to mode and click on bitmap. Um, right now the resolution is at 150 um, so we're going to keep the output to 150. Um, you can go as high as 300 um, but you'll need to experiment a little bit with that. We want to select for the method um, halftone screen, and then we're going to click OK. Um, in this instance, we're going to go with a frequency of 35 um, to make the dots a little bigger. And we're going to go at a 45 degree angle. This will really only come into play when we're doing for color process uh, that we'll get to later. You also have a few options in terms of the shape of the uh, halftone dot. You've got round, diamond, ellipse, line, square, and cross. There's certain instances that you'll want to use all of those um, in particular circumstances, but for us, mainly we're going to be concerned with round or ellipse. I usually like to pick an ellipse. And then I'm going to click OK. We're going to zoom in a bit, and you can see that at 100%, this is now a series of dots. Um, that are going to be suitable for screen printing. So the last step we have to do now is save it. So you'll file, save as. Now you can simply save it as a bitmap or a Photoshop file. At this point it's pretty uh, it's pretty much up to you. Um, for ease of use um, you can always save it as a Photoshop PDF. We'll save it as fish. Click save. And that's really all there is to it. You can really do this with just about any type of image um, as long as it is uh, has gradients or shading. Um, you wouldn't need to do this if it was a black and white drawing with a sharpie. Um, the only reason why you'd want to do this is if you're trying to uh, make gradient screen printable like we talked about in class. Let me know if you have any questions about this or uh, anything else. Thanks a lot.